Today's feature is going to be some more work with our grapple. I separated it into a different video because it's just a little bit different type activity than what we were doing in the first one. But before we get to that, I wanted to expound on a, a previous video and some comments that we've got on it. Uh, we had a video where we replaced the air cleaner bracket in Johnny here. Got a lot of feedback of other people that have had the problem. Sounds like that uh, not only is the bracket breaking for some people, but the little strap on the top is breaking. Another thing that's happening is that the bolts are becoming loose. So I think it would be good for you to take some time, look under your hood, and check the tightness of these bolts on this bracket. Make sure the bracket is not broken. Make sure this strap is still holding good. It sounds like this air cleaner bracket problem is still an issue, maybe even with the newer tractors, just not as bad as it was with the 2014 version. It's not a big deal as long as it's just something we keep an eye on. One of those things you need to, to make sure that's tight and make sure that's maintained properly. Okay, about our feature. We're still at Stacy's house, and while we were working in the backyard in the previous video that you saw, there were folks working in the front yard raking leaves. And they raked all those leaves into a pile and they didn't know what to do with them, so finally they raked them into the backyard right around the entrance, just around the entrance door, into a huge pile. And as I was talking with Stacy, she said that she'd like to have that pile of leaves moved. It was kind of in her way. Now what I'd like you to focus on in this video is how the grapple moves the leaves. I'm not really sure that I would have put the leaves where Stacy had me put them, um, but that's really not the point of this video. I just want you to see how the grapple can actually pick up the leaves and move them. I, I must be honest, I was quite surprised. I thought they would just fall right through the tines. So, without holding you up anymore, let's see our feature. I often hear people ask what you should have in your toolbox. Well, the toolbox on this tractor is really small. Uh, but a couple things that I always want to carry, one is a good heavy hammer, like a three pound hammer. And the other thing is an adjustable wrench. I hate adjustable wrenches. Most people do. Um, but when you can only carry one thing in a toolbox like this, an adjustable wrench is a good thing to have. The reason you hate adjustable wrenches is because they're hard to get adjusted to the right size. It's a good point here on this grapple. This is the second fitting that has come loose on me. 
you know it's only been in use maybe a couple of hours now so just it's a good idea to kind of look around after you've used it an hour or so and make sure that your fittings are tight so because it's this is the most likely time for them to come loose is right after right after you start using it right but it's no big deal it's easy to tighten Since I had that one loose, I think I'll try these other ones. And sure enough, this one was getting loose too. So let's try this one. Try to get those little rubber. That one's pretty good. Okay. These are what? I think I tried all these just back at the house where I had a real wrench. You ought to be able to see in this little snippet of video just why I hate adjustable wrenches. How long have I spent trying to adjust the dumb thing? Well, I think... For me to see why I hate them. Well, I know why the problem is, though. This is a metric adjustable. <laughs> oh, so if you had an English adjustable, it would be... It would fit better. It would fit better. I hope you enjoyed that. I was not trying to show an exhaustive list of items for your toolbox. Maybe that's for another day, and I think Tractor Mike has a fairly decent video on that as well. What'd you think of those leaves? We could pick them up pretty nicely, right? Let's hear your feedback in the comments section. And we'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim.